This is amazing. Now we have Road Dog. It is RAG for your CLI. That means a terminal application. It is able to understand the context of your folder and able to create charts and graphs and analyze files. You are able to provide a data set like Iris data set or any data set and able to create charts like these as an exploratory data analysis. You are able to provide a code like this and able to find errors or refactor the code or analyze the code. Everything inside the terminal. We are able to integrate that with LM Studio. In that way, you can run any open source large language model completely local and all your data will remain private and integrate LM Studio with raw dog. We can convert an image like this to a grayscale like this. Similarly, you can do that for videos and trim videos just from your terminal. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about raw dog. You are able to generate and auto execute Python scripts in CLI. This is a recursive augmentation with deterministic output generations, alternative to RAG, that is retrieval augmented generation. This is similar to open interpreter, but this differs when it comes to context awareness. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this with use cases. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install raw dog hyphen AI and then click enter. This is the main Python package required. Next, I just need to type raw dog list total folders and files and then click enter. This understands the context where your terminal location is and it counts the total number of folders and total number of files. Imagine we navigate to desktop folder. There I'm going to ask list all the folders and click enter. This is listing all the folders in my home directory. Before running all this, make sure you export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. I've already done this before, so it didn't ask again. Now I can navigate into the images folder and ask total number of images, type and plot a graph based on that and click enter. This understands the folder where I am at and process the request accordingly. It gave me this chart, the number of total number of JPEG images and PNG images. You can see all the images here. Now I can inform this terminal to remove all the JPEG images. So it's very simple to write. Just type raw dog, remove all JPEG images from this I don't need to mention the folder, so I'm going to go back and click enter. This will remove all the JPEG images from this folder. Removed 47 JPEG images. I'm going to click LS. Now I can see only PNG images in this folder. That is quick and simple. Each time I don't need to type raw dog. Instead, I can even type alias R equals raw dog. This will automatically assign raw dog to the R variable and click enter. Now hereafter, just type R and then ask it to Create a Python file which should contain a basic Flask application and then click enter. And I can see a basic Flask application created in basic Flask app.py. So I'm going to cat basic Flask app.py and I can see the contents of the file here. It's a quick way of writing any program. Going back to my desktop folder, here I'm going to ask create a text folder and create 100 text files inside that and click enter how much time it will take for you to create 100 files. This does in an instant. So here's a TXT folder. I'm going inside that and I'm going to see the total number of files, which I can see here, 100. Now I can tell or remove all the TXT files in this folder. I don't even need to mention in this folder. It will automatically know that it's in the folder. So now I can click LS and I can see there's no files in this folder. In my desktop folder, I have a file called caption.jpg. So I'm going to tell raw dog change caption.jpg to grayscale. Now it got generated and here it is. I also have a file video.mp4. This is 14 seconds. I'm going to trim it down to five seconds. So going back to my terminal or trim my video down to five seconds video.mp4 and it's processing the request. Sometime it might ask you to install any module. If it does, then install that module and it will automatically work. 
I can see it got saved in trimmed video. So here's the file trimmed for five seconds. This is exciting. Now I have Iris data set. It is a CSV file. Now I can do data analysis like EDA with just a quick command. So going to my terminal or do EDA for iris.csv. Here it says execution error, no module name pandas. So in this case, we are going to install pip install pandas and click enter. Now going to ask the same question and plot charts. Again, it says no module name Seabone. So I'm going to install that again. Pip install Seabone. Ask same question. Execution error species. Going to try again. If any error comes, just type the same question again or just say retry and it will automatically fix the error. There's one more easy method to do this is to just type row dog and click enter. This will automatically enter into the terminal. In this way, you are able to preserve the previous history. So the large language model will know what happened before if any error happens and it can actively work to fix the error. In here, I'm going to ask the same question. Do EDA for iris.csv and plot chart. Here I can see the same error species. So I'm going to ask retry. And here is the beautiful chart of Iris dataset, exploratory data analysis in regards to petal length, width, and much more details in depth. This is amazing. So even you got the code here, even if you want to regenerate the same response, you can just copy this code, paste it in anywhere you want, or you can ask it to generate a code and save it in a file. This is a server log. You are able to analyze that by just typing analyze server.log and here is a summary it gives in-depth details i have a readme file like this about row dog i can just ask or summarize readme.md and it summarizes for me i have a code like this i can ask it to refactor and fix error if there is any and click enter i can see no syntax error found refactoring and fixing errors requires more specific details finally i want to show you how you can integrate this open source large language model. I'm going to use LM Studio in the server page. I'm going to use Ziffer model and click the start server. As you know, this is the endpoint. So this is the location where you can change the config. I will put all this information in the description below. As soon as you click that, you got the information. So I just need to say change the base URL to the one I see here. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Next going to mention it's LM Studio. And here I'm going to mention it's Ziffer model. Save it. Next, I can type row dog. What is your base model? Seems like there's an error. One quick thing you need to do is just instead of LM Studio, make it OpenAI because it's OpenAI compatible. You should be able to integrate any OpenAI compatible URL such as text generation web UI, Jan AI, everything here. This is using light LLM. So you can follow the light LLM documentation and modify the large language model here accordingly. Save it. And yes, modified. Yes. Let me try again. What is your base model? It's just giving me a random response, which I can see this is generated from the LM Studio. I'm going to say basic Python code and save in file.py. Successfully, it got saved, which I can see here. Message equals hello world. Now we have integrated our open source large language model with raw dog. Now you can try this tool and let me know in the comments below what you like and what you don't like. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.